Okay, so it's come to this point, you've overloaded your Fire Stick or your Fire TV Cube and you've got this message saying that you're low on storage space. You can't fit any more apps on your stick. Now, obviously, it's time to start removing apps on here or give it a damn good clean up. But are you going to save a lot more space by simply resetting your Fire Stick back to default settings and resetting it up from scratch? We find out. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So, as I said, we've got this low on storage space. What do we do? It, it, obviously, we do need to clean it up. We need to do something because we're just going to get keep getting this message coming up on the screen bugging us all the time and we're not going to be able to install any apps. Apps might buffer, they might freeze. Certainly the stick or the Fire TV Cube is going to slow down. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check see how much space I've actually got. So let's go across to not now. And okay, I'm going to go download later because I was at this screen trying to download this game at the time. I'm going to press the home button on the remote control. That's the picture of the house. And we're going to go across to the settings cog over there on the right, then down and across to applications, middle button, and then go down to manage installed applications. Well, as you can see, there you go. I've only got 114 megabits left on there. So megabytes, should I say. Sorry, so that's not much at all. So let's go and have a bit of a clean out in here. So let's gonna, I'm going to open up uh, one of the apps that uh, does help clean up the system, and that is an app called Def Squid. So I'm just going to go into Apps, going to find that app just there, go into it. Okay. Now, if you want to download it now, it, it, at one time you did need to give your email address to use it. They've backtracked on that now, so they're not doing that. So 114 megabytes I had free on there. So let's just try cleaning the device. Going to allow this access, and yep, going to allow to down uh, delete APK files because they're just installation files. Don't need to keep them. If I want to get installation files again, I can go and, and, and download it. So uh, yeah, can delete the APKs. Like I say, they are just the installation files for each program that you download and install on your Fire Stick. So, uh, okay, it's nearly at 100% and let's just see what effect this had on my stick. So it says seven optimizations were made there so I'm going to press the home button on the remote go across to the settings cog go to applications and then go to manage installed applications in actual fact I've actually got less space available on the fire tv stick I've lost three megabytes so I've got I'm down to 111 megabytes now let's go to the next step let's go into manage installed applications and what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically clear the cache and the data on all apps and see what this does. So uh, I'm just going to go through them one by one. Obviously, I don't expect you to sit through this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up and uh, we'll come back to it later. Now I should say that clearing data is going to basically wipe out all the settings in each app. So obviously if you need to keep your settings in an app, like saved passwords, saved changes, then don't clear data, just clear the cache. Right, okay, so I've done all that. I've cleared the data and cleared the cache on all of the uh, apps on there. That's freed me up a little bit more space. So I did have 111 megabytes, now I've got 187, but still, still so low. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall all the apps I can uninstall. Now, some of them I won't be able to do that because of they're, they're included with the Amazon stick. So uh, I'm just going to go through each of these and press the play pause button to uninstall them. And let's see what happens there. Now, I should say 
that um, with regards to Def Squid, I did actually run a cleaner earlier or clean up with it earlier so that might be why it did very little to the system because it had already had a good clean up earlier when uh, when that message came up before so Def Squid like I say is a pretty good app um, and that could be why the results were pretty low was because I uh, like I say I'd done the clean up earlier so there wasn't much left for it to clean up but like I say I'm just going through I'm deleting every single app it will let me delete on here and we're just going to see how much space that does actually recover. Okay, so I've gone through and I've uninstalled every single app that I can uninstall, leaving only the Amazon apps on there. And let's just see. So, yeah, so we've got 4.01 gigabytes of space now so that's cleared out quite a bit of space so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to reset the fire stick back to factory defaults and we're going to see does that recover any more space than 4.01 gigabytes i doubt it very much i think that's much better than i was expecting so but let's give it a go so obviously if you're going to do this don't forget to make sure that you've got all your passwords so I'm going to reset back to factory defaults and uh, there you go now it's resetting so this is going to lose everything off the fire stick this is taking us back to as it was when the fire tv stick was brand new now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and we're going to come back to that page to see how much space we've got on here after as I say we've uh, reinstalled the uh, the system and uh, I'm going to fully update it as well back to uh, its current updates if they're not on there already. And I'm going to skip all the offers and not going to download any apps on there. Parental controls are off before so they're going to stay off now. And uh, what I'm going to do is once the menu has loaded let's just go into it I'm going to check for any updates so let's just go across to the settings cog and then down to my fire TV okay and then go into about and then there we go it's already downloading an update so I just want to make this as close as I can to what it was before I reset it so uh, I'm going to leave that installing the update or downloading the update There you go, so that's up that's installed the update. Let's just check see if there's any more. Yep, there's more updates. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep checking this to see if there's any more updates and uh, and until it doesn't find any more. So I'm just gonna do a restart on the fire stick and then check for some more updates. Just make sure there's nothing else that uh, needs to come in. Okay, so the stick's restarted. I'm just going to, like I say, once again go into settings and then go down to My Fire TV and just check for updates again. Go to About, check for updates. Just make sure there's nothing else to come through. So let's go into, again, into Applications and then down to Manage Installed Applications. And in actual fact, by restarting and, and resetting the fire stick back to factory defaults I've actually lost a bit of space I've actually got 3.95 GB out of the 4.01 so really it seems that resetting the fire stick back to its factory defaults in my case has made absolutely no difference. In actual fact, I'm slightly worse off. The best thing to do really on your Fire TV stick is to, first of all, use an app called Def Squid to clean out, then uninstall any, uh, any apps that you don't need, and then perhaps go through and clear out the cache on any apps that are left over. If there's any apps on there that are eating up a lot of data, then clear the data as well. But bear in mind, when you clear the data, 
you're probably going to have to reset the app back up. So you might need your login details to log back in. You might need to change the preferences again to get it back to however it was before. If it's a game, then you might lose your saved games. So uh, just be aware of that. So whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.